Hello, and welcome back to the Prentice Hall Biology Textbook. Today we'll be covering Chapter 21, Fungi. Okay, 21-1, the Kingdom of Fungi. So what are fungi? They aren't plants nor animals. Fungi are eukaryotic heterotrophs that have cell walls, and their cell walls are made up of chitin. Now, they digest food outside of their bodies and then absorb it, and they usually decay feed on decaying matter. Okay, next, structure and function of fungi. So, with the exception of yeast, all fungi are multicellular. And all, all the multicellular fungi are composed of thin filaments called hyphae. So the hyphae can be divided by cross walls, but uh, it's not uh, common. Okay, next we have the fungus structure. So the bodies of multicellular fungi are composed of many hyphae tangled in a thick mass called mycelium. So down here is the mycelium. This is underground. It's almost like the roots of the fungi. So, mycelium is well suited to absorb food because it permits a large surface area to come in contact with the food source through which it grows. And then what we recognize as the mushroom, this part, is actually the fruiting body of the fu fungi. And the fruiting body is a reproductive structure growing from the mycelium as in the soil beneath it. Okay, next fairy ring. So this is a fairy ring down here. And these form when the soil's nutrients become depleted and the mushrooms only grow at the outer edges of the mycelium, which results in the ring we see down below. Next, reproduction in fungi. So most fungi reproduce both asexually and sexually. Asexual reproduction include, uh, includes when a hyphae breaks off and begins to grow on their own, or when spores are produced and then scatter. Sexual reproduction usually involves two different mating types, a positive type and a negative type. And then when hyphae of the opposite types meet, they fuse together and bring the two nuclei together in the same cell. And these form a diploid uh, zygote nucleus, which then enters me meiosis. Okay, how fungi spread. So uh, fungi produce dry, almost weightless spores, and these are spread out into the air. And if the spores are to germinate, which means reproduce and form new fungi, they must land in a favorable environment. Okay, 21-2, classification of fungi. So the kingdom of fungi has over 100,000 species, which are classified according to their structure and method of reproduction. Okay, the common molds. So these are the familiar molds that grow on meat, cheese, and bread and are members of the phylum uh, zygomycota, also called zygomycetes. So zygomycetes have life cycles that include zygospore, and a zygospore is a resting spore that contains zygotes formed during the sexual phase of the mold's life cycle. So, the structure and function of bread mold. There are two different kinds of hyphae in bread mold. There's the root-like hyphae that per penetrate the bread surface, and are uh, these are called rhizoids. Then there's the stem-like hyphae that run along the surface of the bread, and these are called stolons. Okay, life cycles of molds. So, during sexual reproduction of bread mold, the hyphae from two different mating types form a gametangia, which are gamete, is a gamete-forming structure. The gametangia then fuse, and then the zygotes form within a zygospore. The zygospore develops a thick wall and can remain dormant for long periods. The zygospore eventually germinates and a sporangium emerges. The sporangium reproduces asexually by releasing haploid spores produced by meiosis. Okay, next we have sac fun uh, fungi. So sac fungi, also known as uh, ascomiocytes, belong to the phylum uh, Asmocata. And the phylum Asmocata is named for the uh, ascus, which is a reproductive structure that contains spores. So there are th over 30,000 species of ascomocytes, and this makes it the largest phylum of the kingdom fungi. Okay, life cycle of the sac fungi. So this includes both asexual and sexual reproduction. In asexual reproduction, tiny spores called conidae uh, are formed at the tips of specialized hypha called uh, conidiophores. And then sexual reproduction occurs when the haploid hyphae of two different mating types, the plus and minus, grow close together. The hyphae then produce a fruiting body in which sexual reproduction continues. The gametagia gametangia uh, from the two mating types fuse, but the haploid nuclei do not fuse. The ascus then forms within the fruiting body, and this produces eight cells known as ascospores. Okay, then we have yeasts. So yeasts are unicellular fungi, and they, um, the dry granules contain ascospores, which become active in a moist environment, and the process of asexual reproduction is called budding in yeast. Okay, next we have club fungi. 
So the phylum uh, Bastiomacata, or club fungi, gets its name from a specialized reproductive structure that resembles a club. So the spore-bearing structure is called a bastiatum, and it's found on the gills that grow on the underside of mushroom caps. So now the life cycle of the club fungi. So a bastiospore germinates to produce a haploid primary mycelium, which begins to grow. Before long, the mycelia of different mating types fuse to produce a secondary mycelium. And the cells of the secondary contain haploid nuclei, nuclei of each mating type. The secondary mycelia may grow in the soil for years, reaching an enormous size. And a few mycelia have been found to be hundreds of meters across, making them perhaps the largest organisms in the world. So the, then the spore-producing bodies are pushed above ground. And these grow by cell enlargement, not cell division, which is, uh, results in rapid cell growth. This is why we see mushrooms pop up overnight. Okay, then we have the diversity of club fungi. So in addition to mushrooms, bastiomycetes include shelf fungi, which grows near the surface of dead or decaying trees, and then puffballs, earth stars, jelly fungi, and plant parasites, known as rusts, are also other examples of bastiomycetes. Okay, and under club fungi, there's edible and inedible mushrooms. The inedible mushrooms uh, are often poisonous. Okay, then we have the imperfect fungi. So fungi are usually classified by the sexual phase of their life cycle. If they do not have a sexual phase, they are placed in the phylum uh, Dermiocata, or imperfect fungi. The Dermiocata are fungi that cannot be placed in other phyla because researchers have never been able to observe a sexual phase in their life cycles. Okay, next, 21-3, ecology of fungi. So all fungi are heterotrophs, and many fungi are saprobes, which are organisms that uh, obtain food from decaying organic matter. Okay, fungi as decomposers. So fungi play an essential role in maintaining equilibrium in nearly every ecosystem, and then where they uh, where they recycle nutrients by breaking down the bodies and waste of other organisms. Okay, next, fungi as parasites. So parasitic fungi causes serious plant and animal disease, and a fuse can cause diseases in humans. So plant diseases include corn smut, mildew, and wheat rust. Human diseases include um, ringworm, which isn't actually a worm, and then there's a microorganism, uh, Candida albicans, a yeast, which can disrupt the equilibrium within the body. And then there's other animal diseases. So uh, Cordyceps infects grasshoppers, which we see here. This is the fungus growing in the uh, dead body of a grasshopper. OK, next, symbiotic relationships. So some fungi form symbiotic relationships in which both partners benefit. Uh, two such mutual associations, uh, lich lichens and myocorrhizae, are essential to many ecosystems. So lichens. So they're not a single organism. Rather, they are a symbiotic association between a fungus and a photosynthetic organism. Lichens are often the first organisms to enter a barren environment, gradually breaking down the rocks on which they grow. And next we have the mycorrhizae. So this is a when fungi form mutual relationship with plants, and the roots of the fungal mycelia are interwoven. So these associations of plant roots and fungi are known as uh, mycorrhizae. OK, next, key concepts. So identify the characteristics all fungi have in common. Describe the structure of the body of a typical fungus. Briefly describe asexual and sexual reproduction in a fungi. List the four phyla of fungi and identify the main characteristics of the member, members of each phylum. What is a, the major role of fungi in an ecosystem? Explain the roles of fungi in causing disease in humans and in other living things. Describe two, two mutual relationships that fungi form with other organisms. Okay, that's it for chapter 21.